Hey, the line's not too long this morning. I guess it rained this morning before I got here. Everyone was telling me that as they were bringing the food out before I arrived that it was in a full-on rain, which, you know what we say in Southern California? Well, we always need the rain, so that's a good thing. Just kind of sprinkled on my way down. And heartbreakingly, I listen to the news. It feels like so much news going on with everything happening in Israel, the Gaza Strip, and the violence that took place Saturday and just massacring women and children and men and so much tragedy that when the scripture admonishes us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, I think there's no time better than a day like today and no time better than a day like today to feel like, well, when we can't do anything to help there, we can do so much to help here by feeding the community, by working. I meet people who feel like they live with their hands tied and really can't make any positive change. And I'm always like, yeah, you know, you can make a positive change right where you're at. We can't fix the whole world but we can fix something in our world. And so that's why we do what we do on Wednesdays here, feeding our community. I mean, folks need food. Started at the beginning of the pandemic and now into our fourth year, still reaching the community, still feeding folks, taking calls for Thanksgiving. Now, if you've got a good connection on turkeys or if you'd like to make a significant donation we have got so much of our food set aside for this year but not turkeys taken care of and we need turkeys we need volunteers we need drivers we need people to come and spend the night Wednesday night before Thanksgiving we need people to come and serve on Thanksgiving Day this will be our 36th annual free Thanksgiving dinner for the community. And you are so invited to come and be a part. So that Wednesday before Thanksgiving day, we will not have our food distribution. Everyone will be working hard around here to make sure that we have more than enough food to deliver out to our community. We normally do between two and four thousand dinners it's somewhere ridiculous like that that are delivered out to the community so we need folks like you to donate to serve to share to come and be a part these folks have been so faithful mary she's just a camera hog she yeah. comes out her loves it. there's the t-shirt if you would like to have one of these cool t-shirts don't mm -hmm. you love that t-shirt mary yes I love nice t-shirt huh yes. yeah <laughs> nice t-shirt there you go so hey and there's Daniel and there's a Lisa. Look at that. How you doing girl? Today we've got cheese. Look at that cheese. Pretty cool. Mild cheddar. Who doesn't like a little mild cheddar cheese? Hey Daniel. Pistachios. Really? Oh walnuts. I see. Yeah this all got rained on didn't it? <laughs> I reached down grabbed something that it soaked. Dates. I don't know what a Deglet Noor date is but they're how you doing, girl? Good morning. Look at that sweatshirt. There's sweatshirts. Look at that. We've got sweatshirts. We've got t-shirts. We've got all this cool stuff, which is pretty doggone cool. Pastor Ken and me, we don't wear the sweatshirts or t-shirts. It would seem like guys like you and me would wear them. I got a sweatshirt on this morning, Ken. But I'm not working hard like you are. Thank you so much. Hey, God bless you, man. Have a good week. Up. Here's Anna and Steve over here. Anna's in charge of the walk-up line. Steve's in charge of the forklift and making sure everything gets moved around. And he's washing all these baskets. We're doing our very best. We've got an inspection on Friday to be ready for all of that. So everything gets inspected by the folks who come out and inspect all this kind of stuff. So that's a good thing. Thank you so much for everything you've done to make this possible across the last 
four years. Thank you to those of you who have written big checks and thank you to those who have been monthly supporters. Thank you to those who have come out and worked one week or maybe you've come out and you've worked every single week. Thank you so much to those of you who are anticipating a gift with the holiday season out ahead. It's not hard. You can go to our website at 14jc.com. The number one, the number four, letter J, letter C, 14jc.com. There's a donate button at Central Community's webpage, but it has all of our work listed there, and you can give to that anywhere from the mothership all the way to our food distribution, Jacks for Jesus, Siempre para los Niños, where I'll be this afternoon. You can donate to any aspect of any of that. You can just make a great big check. If you would like to make a really significant gift that's just going to rock our world, give me a call. Contact me. I'd like to sit down and take you out to lunch and we can talk about how you're going to do that. That would be fantastic. God bless you. Thank you so much for everything you say, everything you do. Think about volunteers waking up early, coming out here, wanting to do something positive in their world. Um, it's how we feel better about life when we turn on the news and horrible things are happening. And we think, well, how do we lift our spirits in a moment like this? Well, we go out, we start doing some positive things. Vengeance is never good for any one of us. Scriptures teach that vengeance is mine, thus saith the Lord. And God calls us to do good things in the middle of such heartbreaking actions. May God richly bless you and yours today and everything that you say and do. Come on out and be a part of what we're doing here at Central Community. You're invited.